very clear message. You know, a lot of things go on out there, and people say things, and there are people who divide us, and Ahmed represents the unity of the human race, the unity of our communities, that we are, in fact, at the end of the day, one, one people, and we need to be there for each other. 17 years old, takes risks, takes chances, pursuing this individual to make sure that this individual doesn't get away with the act that he had just committed against an innocent person. It could be your mother, your sister, someone in your family on a train, minding your own business and being physically assaulted, which will affect you for a very, very long time. This story is so magnificent and so beautiful. Muslim, Jewish, Christian. I said to, to Akhmit, it didn't matter who this person was, the color of the person's skin, the religion the person practiced was irrelevant. A New Yorker, a human being, got attacked. And Ahmed was there to pursue, to do whatever needed to be done. He's a great student, he's going on to college, and we're going to give him a legislative resolution, uh, a citation, we're not going to read it, it obviously describes the beautiful things representing what Ahmed did. Ahmed, do you have one of these in home? No. You don't have one? Okay. He's going to get this to be able to use, hold on to it, it's going to be yours in a couple of seconds. We're giving this to him from our community. We came to say thank you to someone who did something that many others can do, but he actually did it. This beautiful laptop, uh, Focus Electronics, donated, uh, just donated, and Ahmed is... Uh, going to college soon, and he does not have one. Can you imagine? He doesn't have one. Now he does. So, Okay, Ahmed, we're going to, again, you've been a teacher to all of us. You're 17, and you know what that means? You can be 17 and teach all of us lessons. I can tell you that my own kids, you know, knowing what we were doing today, their reaction to you, they, they didn't meet you, but their reaction to you, like, wow, amazing. So thank you for being a teacher. Thank you for teaching all of us that we can really make a difference in this world if we want to. You did that, and we say thank you to you. Thank you, parents, the mom. Oops, sorry. And our community thanks you. What I want to say that Ahmed bring the community together. We are together. I'm not talking about religion. We are a human being. We are brothers. We are here one community right now. No matter what, Ahmed, he is the hero, and he bring us together. I thank him, thank his father, the community, my community is here, some members. I thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to meet. Good stories just don't get attention. It's a lack of interest? I don't think so. Today proves that's not true. Every now and then a small ray of sunshine emerges and reminds us of the good in humanity. A story so inspiring that it demands to be heralded and shared with the world. The story of Ahmed Khalifa is one of those rare moments and that is why we are here today. I'm proud of my son, he's doing something good and we thanks for him. That we live in one Brooklyn, we all live in the same neighborhoods, 
And we're very proud of this young man for what he did. We're very proud of the volunteers and showmen who are out there protecting all our neighborhoods, all of Brooklyn, and we appreciate uh, uh, people that come forward and risk their lives, as Dove said, to help one another. And we all join together in thanking him and thanking his family, the Imam, and the whole community together. Thank you. What do you make of this whole thing, this whole to do here? Well, I mean, as long as it's as long as people are learning that this is the right thing to do, that's all. Wow. I mean, to put it in, in simpler terms, I mean, what would your message be to the people that were on the train? There were other people that saw it and did nothing. Well, what would your message be to them? I mean, they chose what they wanted to do. They can't change that. I mean, they don't want to help. They don't want to help. But, but I'm curious, would, what was it within you that you thought to yourself, I've got to do something, I've got to jump in? Just how I am. Just how I am.